according to his will that we don't hinder ourselves and that we don't hinder them. You know, I don't want to hinder my loved ones. I, want, I don't want them to miss what God's doing. I want to do everything that's within my power to be obedient to God. And, and what I can't do within my power, I am releasing it unto God and saying, Lord, do this in me. Do this in me. Do it in your people, Father. Help them, Father, to come to the place to walk in your word and abide there, to live there. We need to be living there in his word as he lives in us. And that's what Jesus Christ was the word robed in flesh. And the more that this word is engrafted in you and comes forth and manifested in you, hallelujah, the more the manifestation of Jesus Christ will be birthed forth. That man-child ministry, that hundredfold ministry will come forth in you. These, this teaching is very important. It will enlighten your eyes of the time and the season that we are in. There are many that don't see the time and season. And they are going in their own way. And they are missing what God has prepared. I don't want to miss a thing that God has prepared. You know what he's doing by the Holy Ghost when he sealed us with the Holy Ghost? He gives us a glimpse. A glimpse into the things that he has prepared for us. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, we'll receive it here in this life and the life to come. If we will receive it, but you got to receive, you take someone, I want to give this comparison. You take, if you're a wealthy person, or if you're not a wealthy person, just whatever your will is that you make up in time of the reading of the will, and that you leave different things to different people. And if you have not cut them out of the will, but you have left them in the will, it's just like when the wealthy, none of their families, boy, they, they make sure they don't miss that will, reading of the will, because they want to be there to claim whatever was left to them and get upset when something wasn't left. Well, see, they got to be there to hear it, to grab a hold of it and receive it. Well, see, we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So the Lord has prepared his kingdom for us. He has prepared the benefits. Psalms 103, chapter 103 tells you about the benefits of the Lord. And I tell you what, every one of us, there hadn't been a one cut out of the wheel. There hadn't been a one of God's people been left out. They are inheritors of all his benefits. Deliverance is one of them. Healing is one of them. Hallelujah. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding is one of them. Every one of these things have been prepared. Whatever you have need in this life. The lilies of the field are clothed more than even Solomon in all array of Solomon. Hallelujah. And they're here today and gone tomorrow. How much more will the Lord prepare for his children? He will prepare for us. He wants us to do what? Because he gives us that comparison of the anthill. They are steadily working. I mean, they don't even take a rest. Boy, they just work, 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 work. And they can carry food many times their weight. And they'll even, you know what, the, what gets me to, And if it come, becomes too much for one to carry, as many as it takes, it get, they'll get in a line under there and they'll carry it together. See, that's what God's wanting his people to do. Carry what I've given you to carry. And when it's come to be too much, join together. Bear one another's burdens. Love one another as I have loved the church. Come together in one mind, one accord, and one spirit in the unity of the faith. Hallelujah. Into the fullness of the measure of the Son of God. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, the devil don't want us to reach there. That's why he tries to keep so much division. Hallelujah. I tell you what, in the church, in the body, because he knows as long as he can keep us separated, we will fall. Do you know that there is an old saying in the army, 
divide and conquer. Any army that comes together and stands together to death. <laughs> I tell you what, that army will overcome an army that compasses them by many numbers. Because that army might be one that won't stand together. And that's the reason it's been one of the, the cries, I believe, of our army here in our nation. United we stand. United. That's the reason we're called the United States of America. United we stand against the opposition of all our enemies. Well, see, that's the way the Lord is telling us. He said, if you'll come together and stand in the unity of the faith, there is nothing that you cannot overcome. There is nothing that the devil and all his imps and all his old angels of darkness that could ever bring against you that will overcome you. Because you are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. That means you never lose. You're already victorious. Why? Because Jesus Christ lives in you. He has already made you victorious. He has won every battle. All he's saying is release it to me. And that's what I'm doing with my children. I'm releasing it to God. Not that I'm not still praying for them, but I have released them to God. And I tell you what, each and every one of them is going to come in. Each and every one of your children are going to come in. And the devil's a liar to even say different. And I will not receive that old doubting spirit. I won't receive it. Because I know the promises of God. I know he's not a man that he should lie. I know that he's not slack concerning his promises. I want you to say that yourself. I know that he's not a man that he should lie. Hallelujah. And that he's not slack concerning any of his promises. Hallelujah. And I, a child of God, I'm going to stand on every one of them. And they are sure to come to pass. Woo! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. They are sure to come to pass. Everything has been written. Second Timothy 3 and 16. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it is profitable... I want to read you the meaning of profitable. It means advantage, benefit, gain. So it means it is profitable to you in every word. That it gives you the advantage, it gives you the benefit, and it gives you the gain over the enemy. You are sure to win the battle. Hallelujah. And see, when we truly realize and know it, we will enter that battle in a different frame of mind. We will have the mindset to go into that trial, that fiery trial, knowing that we are a winner. That the Lord will work what he needs to work, and we won't have to be there as long either. I have found that to be true in my own life. Since the Lord has opened this knowledge unto me, and I enter that trial looking at it as the trial of my faith, I don't think it's strange of the fiery trial that is to come upon me because I know it's to purify me. I know it's to bring me forth this pure go in Him. So when I enter that trial, I say, Lord, I'm entering this trial. I don't think it's strange, Father. Lord, work the purpose that you want for it to work in me. But, Lord, I know that I am victorious in it, Jesus. I know. I am going in that trial as victory. That I am already a conqueror. That I have already won. And I tell you what, the Lord, while we are in that fiery trial, He will open up to us. He will enlighten to us the things that we need to see to get the dross out of our life. And as we cleanse up by the Word of God, I tell you what, you'll feel that empowerment of God's Word. I tell you what, this Word is real. It will fight for you. It will live for you as you live it through your life. See, that's the reason the devil has lied to the church world and trying to lie to God's 
real people saying that you don't have to live by the word, that you can't live by the word. 